Hey guys, today I'm going to be starting a series where I share my progress with improving on square one. Over the past couple months, I began to practice this event much more frequently, and my average has dropped a considerable amount. As the title of this video suggests, my goal as of now is to eventually be sub 10, or at least get a sub 10 average. Of course, it would be great to improve beyond that, but sub 10 is my goal for now. Most people know that Square One is a very ALG based event, meaning in order to improve, you most likely will need to learn a fair amount of algorithms. This means that this event is much less intuitive than many others. One of the essential ALG sets needed in order to get relatively fast at this event is EP, or edge permutation. These algorithms are used on the last step of a square one solve in order to move around or permutate the edges of the cube into their solve position. This step can kind of be seen like EPLLs on 3x3, but now on the top and bottom layers. Basically, these cases share the fact that all the corners are solved. However, there are only four different EPLL cases on 3x3, while square one has 99. On 3x3, the only EPLL cases you can get are H-perm, Z-perm, or either of the U-perms. These are also cases on square one, but there are many more due to the addition of the bottom layer as well as certain parity cases. I won't be going too in-depth on parity and stuff, but basically there are cases that are impossible to get on a 3x3, but can be achieved on a puzzle like square one. Anyway, definitions and stuff aside, I have been in the process of learning full EP on square one, meaning all 99 algorithms, for maybe around a month or two now. I know this sounds like a lot of algorithms, but luckily many of them are fairly similar to each other, or just have a combination of two different algorithms, so learning them isn't really as hard as it seems. It just takes time and a fair amount of practice. So I totally encourage those of you out there who want to get faster at square one to learn these algs because they are definitely essential. As for where to find and learn these algs, I have been using algdb for this whole process, but there are probably some more out there as well. I'll be sure to leave a link to algdb in the description of this video, and if you guys know any other alg websites for square one, be sure to leave them down below in the comments. So far, I have learned roughly 60 of the 99 algs, so I've still got a bunch of cases left to learn. Hopefully, I will be able to get these down within the next month or so. While learning these algs, I have been making sure to do a ton of solves in order to make sure I don't forget them, and also to get them into my muscle memory. Also, I found that recognition for these cases, for the most part, isn't too difficult. But of course, I do tend to mess up every once in a while. I don't think there's anything to be worried about when it comes to recognizing these cases, since they only include edges and not corners, so they aren't too complicated. I'm sure this will all improve as I keep practicing. Anyway, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video for more content in the future. Thanks for watching, and until next time.